Hello everyone, welcome back to Chiki's Biology Video Tutorials. I hope the preparation for the GATE 2019 Biotechnology exam is going well. And as I promised you in the last video that I'll come back with an another video where I'll share what are the do's and don'ts which you must do in the next week before the GATE exam and even during the GATE exam in those 3 hours. And uh, hardly there are 10 days left for the exam and I think these are the most crucial days uh, most crucial days for your preparation as you know you have prepared the whole year and it takes an uh, amount of balance and dedication to uh, compile everything and perform it well and revise everything for these 10 days the first and fo for most important thing which you must do in these 10 days is that you should never start a new topic that's the most important thing you should never start a new topic instead you should uh, you know utilize the same time and focus on revising the topics which you have done and which have been continuously doing for the past one year. Uh, so you must revise the topics which I have studied, you know, get more deeper and deeper into it. You must uh, redo all the papers, the last year papers because GATE is more kind of, it, does, it, it doesn't change its pattern. So you might get the same pattern type of questions in your next, in the upcoming exam also. So if you are strong, if you are able to solve all the last 10 years papers for suppose, in a very confident way then you can easily ace the 2019 exam so you must keep solving the previous year pa previous year's papers a lot of mcqs and numericals and one of the bigger biggest mistakes which aspirants do is that they neglect aptitude you know people consider themselves to be superior in math and english which isn't true because gate is a tricky exam so the paper for aptitude and english is not going to be that easy where, where even a 5th class student can solve. No, it's not going to happen. It's going to be tricky. So what I suggest you is, you should focus at least 2 hours a day doing aptitude and English. You know, you must focus more on these concepts, more on these areas. Because you, may, you might have neglected the most important topics. Is this the aptitude and English throughout your preparation in the... Uh, in the misconception that you can easily do it in the exam. But... When you go there, the situation really changes. You will not be able to do math and English, which is like the basic scoring, which is where you get basic scoring marks. So you must focus uh, on solving as many English questions as possible, you know, antonyms, synonyms, and you know, math, the basic math, aptitude. You have various websites like India Bix, Actipedia, where you can go through the formulas, you know, you can apply and you can do five to six sums in each and every year like probability and everything so that you are well versed with these topics. So when you see these topics in the exam, you can easily do them. And when you are able to do aptitude in a very proper way and when you are able to get the right answer, the confidence it gets you is pretty high. And with that confidence, you can even do the core questions. So these 10 days, don't start in a new topic. You can just uh, give a uh, view you can just give a glance on the topics which I haven't touched yet and rather you can instead of focusing on learning it in depthly you can invest the same time in learning the new old topics revising them again and again and again solving MCQs solving math aptitude and revising the math formulas like as many times as possible and and many people say that you know you should never uh, take in pressure for the exam or you should never uh, be too stressed which is partly true but uh, it happens you're all you are stressed you will be stressed and you must be stressed or else you will not you will not be able to crack in gate but you must see it in a very different perspective you know stress is not something which will inhibit you from scoring a good rank if you're not uh, with a, if you're not having a clear mindset then it will be you know it will it will hinder your problem solving skills so for suppose let's think that uh, this time around 11000 people are giving gate but actually, your competition, if you're a serious aspirant, your competition will only be with around 3,000 or 2,000. So if you're able to get a rank of 500 or 600, which is which seems pretty easy if you see the real competition, so you're only competing with maximum of 3,000 people, 3,000 serious aspirants. So if you're able to compete well, and if you're able to get in a rank of 500 or less, you know, it's easy. So don't always think that you know, you're competing with 10,000 or 11,000 students. You're actually competing with 3,000 or 4,000 students or maybe even less. 
So that's your advantage. That's the advantage you being a BT aspirant has in you know, instead of the ECE or CAC aspirants where the competition is huge. You got to bring in that perspective when you are studying or revising in these 10 days. So when you have that perspective, you'll automatically loosen up, you'll cool down. So when you think that instead of competing with 10,000, you're competing with only 2,000 or 1,500 real aspirants, you know, you'll feel confident that yes, you know, you can, you have serious chances of getting into IITs or NITs. And that is something which helped me, you know, I had that map, I had that, you know, vision kind of thing, you know, I had that imaginary thing. So it, it helped me loosen up before the exam. And coming to the exam part, for three hours, uh, you know, you'll have 25 one mark questions and remaining two mark questions. So what I su what I suggest you is, you know, when you get the when the paper actually begins, when the time actually starts, you know, don't spend more than 40 seconds on a question. You know, if you are stuck, don't be stuck at one question. If you are confident at one question, just answer it and move to the next question. If you are taking more than one minute for one question, then just skip it. You know, for first one hour, let let's divide it like this. For the first one hour in the total three hours duration, you know, just keep, you know, just check the whole paper, you know, even the two marks question, you know, just give a glimpse, like whether you can do it or not. So for, for the first one, one hour, you know, do the MCQs, like if you're getting it in 40 or 30 seconds, do it. If you're getting it more than one minute, don't do it. So first one hour, you do whatever you know. And the next two hours, you keep this for the two marks questions and, you know, aptitude, you know, for, for the first two mark for the next two hours, aptitude and the two marks question and you know you keep doing it that for one, one and a half hour you'll easily do it you know but because when you actually are able to get answers from mcqs or when you're able to do when you when you when you have already solved few questions in the first in the first one hour that will give you confidence to do the next one and a half hour it will it will help the session so what you do is don't think about the toughness of the paper just to just do it in a very pretty fa quick way just whatever you are able to do it, do it, and and this is very important. Don't give any guesses. You know, keep your guesses for the last half an hour. Don't give any guesses and everything, because for the first time, whatever you do, you you do it accurately, precisely, and keep half an hour, keep the last half an hour for revising the whole paper. This is where your actual, uh, you know, the magic is. You know, you you are in temptation to attempt few questions out of you know, confusion or, you know, you believe, you believe in your instinct or something, something like that. But trust me, trust your gut feeling. That's what worked for me. You know, I, I, I have done blunders in my exam, few blunders in my exam, but most of them were right because I believed in my gut. Because, you know, sometimes when you read the question, uh, you may don't actually know the answer through it, to it technically, but you have this inner thought that maybe this is the right option because, and that's the confidence, uh, that's the voice you get from a serious uh, preparation. So you trust your gut. You know, it knows like you have prepared, you are slogged in hours in the whole one year, you know, solving many papers, you know, doing countless books and believe in your gut and do as, and do the guesswork as less as possible. Keep it very limited. You know, I, you know, I, uh, I would have actually scored more, but I lost in 15 marks or 10 marks in the guesswork. So I know it better than anyone else. And that has drifted my rank towards a, a big, much more bigger uh, range compared to the normal range. So just keep this in mind and I think it will be good. You know, BT is not that, BT 2018, 2019, I think it's, it's, it's going to be easy. You know, go with the mindset that you okay, know, you will do it easily. So just keep that in the mind and be, take stress, but in a healthy way, you know, see the map. You're not competing against many members. You're competing only against limited members. You know, and the and and many people even ask that you know how will the math be in the paper? Trust me, even the paper setter knows that BT aspirants are poor in math. So the math which you which you will get in the exam is going to be very basic math. You know, eigenvalues, differential equations. They'll be very basic. So just prepare basic math, basic aptitude, basic English. You know, revise the problems. You know, check the chromatography sums, bioprocess sums kinetics because these are the topics which are going to fetch you the marks you know uh, just go back to the first video which i have posted which uh, which have which, which which has been posted and which in where i was telling about the topics which you must focus on you know revise the same topics revise the sums you know 
uh, you know uh, imbibe the formulas in your in install the formulas in yourself you know and you know get in depth and solve the applica solve the problems applications just keep checking so that's what i can tell for now uh, we'll meet later all the best for the exam and please subscribe